Okay, so how do these stem cells actually work, right? A lot of people think that the mesenchymal stem cells sort of go into the joint space and start hammering and chiseling and building out cartilage and stuff. And that's not actually what happened. The stem cells are going to signal the rest of your body that there's an injury, that there's some process, an inflammatory process that's going on that needs to be controlled, that needs to be checked into. And so through the working with your other body, like the other cells that your body has to heal an injury, then that will coordinate the joint healing. So it's not actually the stem cells that do the majority of the work. The stem cells just alert your body to the process that they should have been doing to start with, but have otherwise turned a blind eye to. Another way that we sometimes use stem cells is um, with other products, such as like PRP, where we harvest your own plasma, for example, or maybe we're using a commercially available form of, of PRP. Either way, the point is, is that the cells, the stem cells or the platelets are there to orchestrate and to kind of direct a healing process to fix that injury. So if you're an athlete dealing with a high ankle sprain, then you can see where using stem cells uh, can help coordinate the healing of that joint. And if you've got bone on bone arthritis in your knee or degenerative arthritis in your hip. And as a, as a group, these regenerative products in 2023 are mainly harvested from the products of conception, amniotic fluid, amniotic sac, placental umbilical cord. Those tissues are very rich, specifically the placenta and the umbilical cord have the highest concentration of what we're after, which is the mesenchymal stem cells. And so all of our companies, the ones that we work with specifically, screen their donors. There's a, a, a very elaborate process that must be followed for these stem cells to be deemed you know, good, healthy stem cells and that we're actually gonna use to treat another human being. So the process is very well controlled and I feel very safe knowing that we're getting the highest quality products. And so the, the unique thing about this is the stem cells found in this umbilical cord are, are that of a nine month old healthy baby, right? That baby has never lost a night's sleep. It's never had a fight with its boyfriend or girlfriend. It's never really been sick. And so those stem cells are coding for balance. They're coding for homeostasis. And so when you put them into an injured system, right? Like an injured joint, for example, those stem cells are 100% geared towards fixing that problem. That is their sole purpose just like they would have done in the baby or in the umbilical cord that they were harvested from. And so by using these, these very healthy cells and putting them into an injured tissue, we're basically telling your body, hey, you've got to come fix this injury. And, and we see great success with this. So the good news is, is that in 2023, these very healthy, very safe sources of regenerative therapies are available to you. And so traditionally we've been told, oh, if you've got a, a, a bad knee, you need to get steroids. Well, in 2023, nobody wants steroids anymore. In fact, in some countries, steroids have been outlawed. They don't use them as a first line therapy for any type of joint dysfunction. And this is so in Canada. If you want to get a knee replacement in Canada, you have to have a stem cell therapy first before they will approve a joint replacement. And in my opinion, th there's no doubt that we should be using regenerative medicine first, right? That we should be using these therapies to heal injured joints because we know that steroids long-term are going to contribute to the degeneration, the degradation, and the ultimate dysfunction of that joint. And so steroids, in my opinion, should be left alone. They're not useful for joint injuries or for joint rehabilitation. But stem cells or stem cell-based therapies don't have that problem they don't contribute to the degeneration of the joint. Steroids are a degenerative therapy, whereas stem cells are a regenerative therapy. We're helping to heal and regrow that tissue. And so if, if you find yourself suffering from some kind of acute injury or a chronic injury, maybe you're even questioning whether or not you gotta have surgery. Maybe you're, you got an appointment set to go see a, a, some type of a orthopedic surgeon or orthopedic doctor about your joint dysfunction. And I want you to know that you have options out there that you have options that are going to keep you off the operating room table, that are going to get you back to work, and that have a very, very good chance at healing your problem with very little risk or very little downside associated with it. And, and I see all kinds of people, I see young people, old people, weekend warriors, you know, competitive athletes that are using these therapies and getting great results. 
So if you find yourself dealing with a joint dysfunction, you find yourself looking for a way to help get you out of pain so that you can live your most functional life, I want you to consider that stem cells and regenerative therapies should be the first line therapy for you. And at Compass, we would be more than happy to explain to you what your options are and how these options can get you back on the court, back to feeling no pain, back to enjoying life with your loved ones with little downtime, no risk, all the benefits that you're looking for to help you live a full life. So give us a call at Compass. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you, you will like it, share it with a friend, subscribe to our page, and I hope to see you soon here at Compass so that we can help you live the best version of your life possible.